Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate Saint Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, and we offer the Holy Mass for Irene Kempest. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask blessed be all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, but a very little while and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Every day in the Holy Mass, we start saying, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. We always begin asking for forgiveness to the Lord for our sins every day. But for us to get God's mercy, we need to be humble. This is the first step for us a deep and real conversion. We need to acknowledge ourselves as sinners and fragile. Our existence depends on God. He is our creator and we are his creatures. He knows us perfectly but he is the God of love and wants our love in. The most sublime act of love is being humble. Remember that through the humility of Mary entered our salvation. Pay attention because she didn't say here is the choosing one, or I am the best. No. The Virgin Mary said, Here is the slave of the Lord. Humility is the first essential requirement to become a saint. But this act of humility is accompanied with a deep profession of faith. In the Holy Gospel, today the blind man said to Jesus, Son of David, have pity on us. The expression Son of David means that Christ is the Messiah of Israel. Because the scripture said that the Messiah would be a descendant of David's lineage. So this blind man acknowledged that Christ is the Messiah, that he is God. It's terrible because today a lot of people, even Catholics, don't believe in the divinity of Christ. 
for these people, Christ is, uh, for example, a prophet or a saint or a wonderful man, but for them, Christ is not God. This blind man in the gospel asked for, the, asked for a miracle to Jesus because they believe that Christ is God. But there is another important element in the gospel today. After Jesus did the miracle, they went out and spread word of him through all that land. What does this mean? This is a response of love. That is a response of gratitude because the Lord returned to them their sight. They go to evangelize. They are grateful and their way of being grateful is by announcing the wonders of God's love. Gratitude is the consequence of a humble heart that believes that Christ is God. Let us ask the Lord in this season of Advent to increase in our hearts these three virtues. First, humility to never be parted from God. Deep faith to never doubt about the divinity of Christ. And third, gratitude to always give thanks with our acts and words, the love of Christ. God bless you and let us praise on silence. Let us pray for our church in the world. For the church, that it will ever be a place where the lowly can find joy in the Lord and the poor rejoice in God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, that the tyrant may be no more and all who are alert to do evil will be cut off, and that the threat of war may be kept from us by the Prince of Peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel engulfed in the world's misuse of Christmas, that through Advent liturgies, penance services, and special practices in church and home, they may be steadied and sustained in their spiritual preparation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who seek healing from the Lord Jesus and pursue him with their longing, that they may have the confidence he asks in order to work his miracles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved departed ones may be purified quickly and be free to gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and receive his bounty in the land of the living. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, Father of oh, mercy, hear our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, a word of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with the life of faith, by which we constantly enlighten St. Ambrose for the sprinting of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Love your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ambrose, you bid your church rejoice, so too, you strengthen by her the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as we all and we acclaim, Holy, 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 Heaven and her of glory and glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the life doubtful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly unto his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat for it of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he told the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your deed, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Amen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his deed and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of blood of Christ, we may be gathered into what into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We call them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with our blessed apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be covered to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. I deserve your command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us, and lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Let us who have been strengthened by the power of the sacrament, O Lord, so to prove from the teaching of St. Ambrose that hastening firstly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. My Almighty God, who bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Mass is ending, good in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>